This time we're going to focus on HTML code, and don't get scared by that. Basically, what do you want to use HTML code for? Well, it's great for putting plugins in. It's great for any e-commerce, specifically if you're using PayPal. You're going to need to know that. And also, you can use it to insert a Facebook-like box. So let me show you what that looks like. We're going to go out to the GotClick's main website. And you can see that it looks a bit different than the prototype we're building. And I've put my Facebook like box here at the bottom. And it has a like button that you can click on. And it also has the recent activity that's been going on my GotClick's Facebook page. So how do we build this? Well, first of all, you can go out to Facebook and in the lower right corner, you'll see a help box on your main site. Click on that, and then you can type in like button or like box, and this will appear. So it says get the like button. The way I did that is I opened a separate box to remember where my Got Clicks page is, and I copied and pasted that into the URL to like. And then I checked this box, send button. I asked for a standard layout. I didn't want to show faces. I could, I suppose, but I just didn't want to. And it can say like or recommend. I just chose light because everyone's used to it. You can do light or dark background. I chose light. And you can choose whatever font you want. And then it asks to get the code. And all you have to do is just copy and paste this code. So I'm going to copy this and use my handy dandy notepad and paste it into my notepad. And now that I have that, I'm going to hit edit, select all, and edit, copy. Now I can go into my web plus and I'm just going to take this away and I click insert and this time web object. We use the frame document to put in our blog, this time we're going to choose HTML to put in our Facebook like box. Now it's going to ask you to paste to head or paste to body. In this instance we're going to paste to body. Puts it in there and we click OK. And then you'll want to position this into place. Now, one of the things I've noticed about the Facebook that's kind of a gotcha is that it will not preview for you. You have to publish it in order to see it. So that's something <laughs> that took me a long time to figure out because you see I pub you know I preview it here, nothing happens. So I didn't have anything happen until I published. So that's something that you're going to have to keep in mind is you want to make sure that you put the element in and then when you're ready to publish, that's when it's going to show. So other things that you can use HTML code for would be your e-commerce, your PayPal buttons, any sort of affiliate program, for example, my Midphase hosting and my Serif Web Plus software that I sell. Those are all HTML code that's simply copied and pasted into my website. That allows me to keep track of anyone who clicks on the site and goes through and purchases the software. That's how I know I made a sale, and that's how this entire tutorial series is supported, is by purchases made either through Midphase or through the Serif Web Plus software. Thank you so much for watching, and please visit our other pages for more information on how you can get your website online sensibly and affordably. I'm Sarah Spencer, the founder of GotClicks. Thanks for watching.